you guys. I made that. I made that shit. Thirty one. I'm thirty one. I'm single, so I've been listening to my friend get divorced. Anybody else? That's that's what you do when you're in your thirties and you're single. You support your divorced friends. That's your job, you know. Because if you're not learning out of, from re your own relationships, you're learning from their failures. That's what you're doing. That's what I'm doing. I don't know. I, I feel like I gotta support his ass. I like both of them, but I, you know, he's my buddy. You know, so I gotta support him. You know, it's kind of rough. Like, damn dog, you supported her and her kid and her through a career change. You know what, man? I'm not even gonna fucking say hi to her at the next party. She's gonna be devastated. She's like, look at her. She's laughing with her friends like that didn't affect her. <laughs> Denial is not just a river in her fucking life. You know, man. <laughs> Anyway. Uh, 31. My sister was worried about me. I've been single for almost three years. My sister was worried. She started asking me if I'm seeing anybody with a concerned tone, which is kind of fucking rude, honestly. But it, she did ask after I said I was thinking about making a Muppet, which is <laughs> which is fair. It's pretty fair, you know, because Muppets is like a very uh, I'm single, I'm going to stay single type of move. <laughs> Also, I, I think she, was, she, me and her used to watch Lars and the Real Girl, you know, that guy that married a doll or whatever that was. And <laughs> imagine if I had a Muppet girlfriend, that'd be worse, probably. <laughs> that'd definitely be worse. Because how she's gonna, how she gonna, it's just my hand again, anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm ready for that blue collar love. I think Covina knows what that's about. I'm ready for that blue collar love. I told my sister in the summer, I told my sister, like, I think I'm ready to date. And my only requirement is we both got to want to work, you know? <laughs> that's my that's, that's, it. that's how you know I'm da done dating women in their 20s. It's like, give up on your dreams. We got jobs. <laughs> we got to want to work, you know? I'm talking to this girl right now, rekindling an old past flame, you know? She works at a grocery store. I work in a machine shop, and I think we're going to fucking make it, you know? <laughs> I think that's love, I think. I don't know. We hung out, I think I got a minute, we hung out this Saturday, it was pretty romantic. I met her after work, cause you know how that works. <laughs> you know that means something, when she's building to make time for you when she looks all fucked up after a day shift, you know, she, you know she's into you, you know, she's like, hey, this is me at my worst, there's better later, and I'm like, yeah, next weekend, probably. I don't know, I think I'm ready, you know? She's a lot tougher than I remembered, you know? I think I need that, I need a woman